Okay. Microphone check. One, two. Can you hear me? Can you hear us? Can you hear me? Loud and clear. Loud and clear. It's time. It's time. You ready to do it? Ready to talk about this? Boom. Okay, so we are uh, with Ladero and Danielle Hart. And if you've been on our channel already, you know that we talk a lot about marriage family. and family and all that stuff. We like to have fun. We got some videos <laughs> about our kids being pushed in boxes and, uh, you know, running around, doing all kinds of fun stuff. And, you know, we're all about family. And, uh, and that's the whole basis of our, of our channel, right? We want to elevate marriage and the family unit. It's very, yes. very important for us. Um, but at the same time, we're on a very, very special journey, mm -hmm. a very special journey. And uh, we are in the process of converting to Judaism. And we, we've mentioned it in a few of our videos, just a little bit, but we've never gone into detail about how we got here. Because we would say, hey, you know, we're excited to be on this journey to Judaism, but what does that mean? How do we get here? And so that's why we're, yeah. we kind of changed up the, 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 the scenery a little bit. We got a horizontal thing going on because we sit back we chilling and we're going to talk about this this life yeah we're excited to just be vulnerable and to uh, share our journey i think it's important for people to hear about what it looks like to go through a conversion process yeah and um you know to help maybe others out there we get to hopefully maybe inspire other people who are going through this journey as well too and yeah. want to know what it's like and so we felt sure. on our hearts that it was important for us to to share that journey. Yeah, and we also think it's very important that that we give you context so that you can understand our content. We talk about marriage, we talk about family, but if you don't understand why we say what we say, then what we say will probably be a little bit confusing. Mm -hmm. So that's why we think it's very important that we talk about how we got here so that way you can understand our foundation and our come from so grew up in an incredible family beautiful beautiful family very family oriented and uh i love my family so so much and i'm sure some of my family are watching right now i love you guys and i, I was born and raised christian and so i mean we've we were going to church multiple times a week and uh did, did that whole thing and so when we got married, uh, my wife, she wasn't, you know, super religious or anything like that. And like I said, I was born Christian. And so she became Christian once we, once we got married. Yeah, yeah. And um, I, like he said, uh, I'm just so grateful for my mother. My mother was a single mom raising me and uh, she did a phenomenal job. So mom, if you're watching this, um, I love you. I respect you so much. I believe that I am the woman I am because of you. Um, but one thing that I can say that I'm very proud of my mother is that I always saw her praying. And um, I know that my mom, she was raised Catholic, but she uh, really kind of grew out of that, you know, as she was uh, growing up. And she just went on her own spiritual journey, and I respect her so much uh, for that. And me just watching, I learned a lot by watching more than her telling me and so we weren't really raised you know going to church or anything like that but my mom did pray every single night and i think i learned a lot from her just praying and have that relationship with god yeah so moving forward about four or so years ago i received a phone call from a uh, from one of my cousins uh who will remain anonymous um, but he, he gave me a call and we were talking about life and what we always do. And he threw something in my ear that, that kind of, well, it changed my life. <laughs> <laughs> and he mentioned it. I'm, I'm going to give you the, the short version of kind of what we talked about, but he, he mentioned that, he, um, he, he, he talked about he he talked he talked about Jews being in Africa. He was talking about African Jews and and, and all these different things. And and I I've never heard anything like that. Mm -hmm. And so that really sparked my interest. And because I I've never really seen any 
black or, or Jews of color or, or anything like that. And so that really, really sparked my interest. And, and obviously, if you've had these type of thoughts before or you've dug, you, you've, you've did some, some research, you already know the rabbit hole that you're going to go down. <laughs> you're going to see all different types of things and uh, all different types of information. And so we, we went on that journey. Yeah. And uh, but I but I'll say this as we were learning and uncovering things and discovering things uh, Every single stop that we made to get us to this point right here to where we're you know doing going through an orthodox conversion Every single stop that we made mm-hmm. was very very impactful. Yeah, it was 100% needed. We learned so much met some incredible people uh, built incredible relationships along the way and every single stop was necessary for us mm-hmm. and so uh, but yeah, it, it's a rabbit hole for sure <laughs> you're gonna find a lot of a lot of different things as we started digging we um, we were we were very intrigued we, we, we became very intrigued about the Jewish people mm-hmm. and we were aware of Jews because I would I would work I would do like postmates on a on like a Friday night and walking around at nighttime and they're in these in these little communities and and I just you know we just never you know never looked into it you know as to wanting to maybe get a deeper understanding of who they are and things like that as we started learning we were we became very intrigued about who these these wonderful people were Mm -hmm. and we fell in love it, we, we, we literally fell in love and and we, we, we started looking at their culture mm-hmm. and their, their family unit, how together they are, their communities and how they stick together. And then we started learning about Shabbat and this 25 hour day, this, this 25 hour time frame where they unplug from the world to connect to spirituality. Mm-hmm absolutely incredible and their their relationship with god was incredible and i think that was the greatest thing that ladero and i could have could have done was to go down that journey of wanting to learn more about judaism especially being raised christian i think that was the greatest gift that we could have done is to educate ourselves yeah. right there's nothing wrong with educating yourself about you know different religions and and wanting to understand because if you understand or you at least know something about another religion then it allows you to um, have more respect for that person sure. the individual that allowed us to have more respect and understand the Jews of first of all why you know we were we were asking okay why are they walking on Fridays why are they yeah. always walking <laughs> If you're going to ask the question or be curious about it, you should probably educate yourself on why they do what they do. If you understand why people do what they do, then it's going to make a lot more sense to you. Yep. And so that's where our curiosity came from and allowed us to just grow more and more and deeper and deeper and fall more and more in love with the Jewish people. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. So, you know, the reason, you know, I know some people might ask us, you know, so why Judaism? Yeah. Why did we choose to go on this path, or, and what was it that, you know, allowed us to really kind of change from Christianity to this? And I think, honestly, for Ladero and I, it was just this um, yearning for an understanding of more of who Hashem is. Yeah. And, uh, and I feel like, you know, for us, we just weren't growing really spiritually where we were at. And so had just this desire. So when his cousin brought up that conversation, uh, that just sparked us to really want to go deeper because we were searching, we were looking uh, for answers. And I can just tell you that when we started learning about Judaism, I just felt like a light bulb went off and everything was just making so much sense. What I love about Judaism is that whatever questions you have, there's an answer. And there's a reason why you do what you do. You don't do things just because, just to do it. But there's a reason, and it's so beautiful. Everything in Judaism has a purpose. Yeah. One, one thing that we were able to connect to was the fact that Judaism gave us a structure mm-hmm. to yes. our spiritual life. How do you pray? How do you 
Uh, how, how do you connect to God? How do you do this? How do you grow in your marriage, right? Ju Ju Judaism gave us a structure to be able to really connect to the, the, the infinite one, the creator of the universe. That's what we really yearned for was how do you grow spiritually? Mm -hmm. And Judaism really gave us that. People have asked us, well, don't, don't the Jews have 613 commandments? You know, isn't that too much? Why are they? And then they would say, well, aren't, why so many restrictions? And so we've learned to look at it as, man, the Jews don't have 613 restrictions. The Jews have 613 opportunities to connect. Mm. That's what those commandments are. They're opportunities to connect. Mm -hmm. They're not restrictions. It's not telling you what not to do and, and they keep a person bound. No, those, those commandments for us, and this is our views, this is how we look at it, but yeah. those commandments allows you to be free. There's freedom in being able to connect to the creator of the universe is beautiful. Absolutely. And so we are going to be doing um, more videos of just us sharing. Um, so please stay tuned because we're going to continue this on, continue talking about our journey. We have so much to share. This could literally, be, literally have been a two hour uh, video, but we're going to definitely be breaking them up. And so please stay tuned. Um, please click and subscribe. If you like it, please like it. And uh, we're just excited to be on this journey with you all and to um, hopefully just inspire. All we want to do is share our hearts, share our journey. This is our story. We didn't create this channel to have debates or to make anybody feel uncomfortable uh, or to try to convince you or whoever's watching or other people that they're wrong and we're right and have that back and forth thing. That's not why we created this channel. We just had to talk about this because it's a part of our life. Yeah. We can't talk about marriage and family without talking about this aspect of who we are. This is who we are now. Mm -hmm. What we, the, the Hart family, House of Lay, what we represent is love and family, and peace, respect, unity. Yes. We have love for, for everybody. Mm -hmm. You come to our channel, that's what you're going to get. You're going to feel love. You're going to feel that heart. That's what you're going to get when you come to House of Love. Yeah, because we respect every single person. And also, if you are deeply rooted in what you believe, then there's no need for any arguments. No need to get offended. Well, thank you so much for watching. Please, please, please stay tuned because we got more to talk about. As you can see, we got a lot to talk about. So make sure you subscribe so you can be in the know of when all the videos come out. And thank you again for watching.